So the notebook is a key uh, device for us in terms of collaborating. So the, the collaboration experience with Equinox is very rich. HD audio, HD video, a lot of technology in there. Very nice screen sharing capabilities, a lot of flexibility so you have layout. You can record your meetings, you can play them back. Like, it's like a YouTube player so you can almost go, go back and play them later. You can share them, stream them over MP4. Um, so a lot of technology in terms of the video collaboration, that's for sure. But let's take a look. Excellent. So here we are about to start the desktop demonstration of Avaya Equinox. Hopefully you've already seen the mobile demo uh, before this. And if not, uh, you know, I encourage you to go take a look. So essentially what we did in that scenario is um, walk through a couple of use cases with myself and Brad. And Brad is actually going to be showing the desktop side of this. So what we're going to do now is hand it over to Brad. So thanks a lot, Brad, and take it away. Okay, thanks, Paul. Let me take you through the Avaya Equinox desktop experience. I'm showing a Mac. Windows is very similar. And first, I'm going to walk through an interactive install. Now, typically, administrators would do a silent install uh, where the user would just get the application pushed to them. Um, and I'll also show you the auto configuration uh, once it's finished installing. So we have to accept the end user agreement. And basically, it's going to go through sort of a, a very typical uh, install experience. It's going to ask me for my password. And it's done. After installation, it's going to run for the very first time. I'm going to get prompted. It's going to want to access my calendar. And now I'm at the auto configuration step. This is showing using my email to auto configure the application. Again, if the administrator pushed the application out to my desktop, they could have skipped this step by specifying the address to get the auto configuration information from. So in this case, just like Paul did on his mobile, I'm going to put in my email address and it's going to offer me up my, my choices. Um, if there's only one choice, then you don't have to make a choice. It'll, it'll just configure for you. Uh, in our environment, we have a few different options here. Next, it's asking me for, for my credentials. So once again, just like on the mobile, I'm going to be putting in my uh, credentials. OK, so I've entered my credentials, and it's asking for access to my contacts. And I'm done. You can see that was one s very simple uh, operation to get, uh, get the application installed and uh, completely auto-configured. You see, it just took a couple seconds. And now you can see, just, uh, just like we had on the mobile app, I've got top of mind with my meetings, my messages, and my history all available for me. First thing I'd like to do is take you for a little tour around the application. You can see how it looks slightly different than the mobile. Very similar icons and the, the language, uh, but um, of course this is optimized more for a desktop application. So I've got my tab bar across the top where I've got things like my top of mind home screen. I've got my, my favorites tab. I've got my contacts. I've got my call history, my meetings, and my messages list. I've also got a profile menu here where I can adjust my presence. I can uh, enter a status note, um, adjust my presence to, uh, uh, to tell others what I'm doing. And I can also manage my features here, things like call forwarding or turn on send all calls if I don't want to be disturbed. I've also got uh, a chooser here for my media options, for my camera, my microphone, and so on. And here's where I would choose to either use the computer for audio, or if I wanted to pair it with my desk phone and use my desk phone, I can do that down here. Finally, I've got a features men menu here. So this will pop out a panel that I can actually tear off and pop out from the app and park somewhere on my screen. And this is where we put certain features like your call pickup button, auto callback, auto dials, and busy lines. If I want to call someone, I've got a couple options. From any screen, I can just type in a name to search for someone or enter a number in, in this area right here. I can also bring up a dial pad at any time if I want to make a call using a dial pad. Let's get into that meeting with Paul about the web design. I'm, I'm here in top of mind with my next meetings, and it's just a single click to join that meeting. You can see in just a couple seconds, I'm, I'm put into the meeting, and I got the other, other participants with their video. I've got my roster over here. I've got controls where I can end the call, manage my, manage my uh, media devices, 
access moderator controls, you can see that this is being rec uh, recorded. And I can have my sharing menu. Since we're going to collaborate on the web design, the best option is to use application window. But I've got other choices too, like sharing my, my entire display, a portion of the screen, or using a whiteboard. OK, I've got the web page up. So I'm going to choose to share my application window. And I'm going to choose my browser. OK, so now that I'm here, I've got some tools. I can use a, a pointer here to highlight different parts of the, of the screen as I'm having our discussion. I've got other tools here uh, to, to, to draw and, uh, and point things out. I can also pause uh, during, the, uh, uh, during the presentation if I need to do something and then bring it back. It makes it very easy to collaborate uh, and use screen sharing. You see how fast and, and easy everything is to use. So I'm going to end the screen sharing and go back to uh, the video conference. And you can see I've got some options here, too, in terms of uh, going into a full screen mode, uh, which is very nice. It basically brings me into a complete full screen and removes everything else uh, out of the way so I can focus completely on the meeting. Uh, I've also got some layout controls here. So you can see I can choose to have automatic layout um, and also choose from all the different fixed uh, layouts that we've got available to us with the Equinox conferencing. Finally, I can keep my video in a separate self view or mix it into the layout or even hide it if I want to. All right, so that's how easy it is to have a collaboration session with Avai Equinox. Next, we'll take a look at the Avai multimedia messaging part of Avai Equinox. Hey, I've got a new message from Paul. I can reply right from the notification uh, on my Mac. So you can see, very simple, in incoming notification and uh, reply directly from the notification. But let me drill into this uh, message from Paul. I can see, um, if I look back at the history, I can see he's asking about um, our, new, our new workspace environment. He wants to know if Marcel's happy. Now, Paul sent me this picture. Oh, this was just was from earlier this morning with uh, Marcel and I. You can see that Marcel looks really happy with his new work environment. And he's also got, it um, looks like he's got that new Advi Vantage device too. Really nice. So just like on the mobile, you can see I've got options here to record audio clips, video clips, take a photo, and I can even paste an image from my clipboard or attach a document directly into the message. Makes it really easy to communicate uh, and collaborate, and again, with uh, group communications that are persistent over time and across multiple devices. All right, I've got an incoming call from Paul. Let me take this. Hey, Paul, how you doing? All right, so you can see uh, uh, I've got this incoming video call. Um, let me show you a few things about this. Um, I've got my controls at the bottom. I can end the call, bring up a dial pad. I can block my video and manage my mute, uh, mute or unmute my call. I also have a really nice full screen mode here. So I go full screen, it fills up the screen completely, and the controls fade away, giving you a really nice immersive uh, uh, video experience. That's it. That shows you how easy it is to collaborate uh, and communicate with the Via Equinox. Thanks very much.